Sergeant Bo Bergdahl was released by the Taliban-aligned Haqqani Network in May 2014 as part of a prisoner swap with the United States. He'd been captive for five years. Now he's facing charges of desertion, which could see him imprisoned for life in a US military jail. In the days before he went missing, The Guardian's Sean Smith spent a short time filming at Bo Bergdahl's observation post in eastern Afghanistan. We don't hear much from Bergdahl himself, but it's clear that among his unit there are doubts about the mission. At the time, the US was implementing COIN, a counterinsurgency strategy based on working closely with village elders and the Afghan military. That's it. <laughs> I brush my teeth and I wash my balls. That's pretty much it. It's all about dropping a little coin. That guy waved to me. <laughs> the guy in that car waved. Okay. <laughs> they do that every now and then. No, he's making fun of coin. This culture here is very <laughs> not part of the family. Besides that. They're strangers. Strangers treat you courteously, but they're somewhat, somewhat standoffish. Hopefully we'll be able to build a, a rapport for the local ANA and AMP, the national forces, so that they can start uh, working with the people more to stabilize their own country. And we can get the hell out. Eventually. <laughs> no, that, that, that's a lie, because they all hate us here anyway. Oh yeah, it's a... On his rounds of the camp, an officer walks up to the hilltop observation post, where Bergdahl seen here crouching, and his fellow soldiers are on watch. Yeah, really. It's not going to be pretty when they come up here and they, uh, they get pissed off at us for desecrating the next to the graveyard. This is a good spot. Well, we'll be able to rotate y'all because we got some work down there. We're, I'm doing my rounds, walking around, talking to different people. This is a suite right here. This is a Hilton. This is a fucking Afghan Hilton. Oh yeah, Hilton. Oh, five days oh, living in the... Watch out for that, man! <laughs> living with dead people. Yeah. Does this look good on here or what? Is this the 80s? This is this the 80s right here or what? The local population are wary of the Americans who have been test firing from the outpost. Hey man, Charles, fucking... Right now it's freaking... Bergdahl is seen here, involved in this exchange with a local man. Without a Pashto speaker on the hilltop, communications with the local man have to be through an interpreter over the radio. Down there to start hoping. I've been following that little white female. I think it's female. These people just want to be left alone. Yeah, they got dicked. With, they got dicked with from the Russians for 17 years, and then now we're here. Yeah. I just want to be left alone, man. Same thing in Iraq. I was there. These people just want to be left alone. You know, the crops, weddings, stuff like that. That's it, man. I'll gladly leave them alone. <laughs> the shift changes, this is the last footage of Bo Bergdahl on duty in Afghanistan 
days before he was taken prisoner. My name is Bob Bergdahl. I'm the father of Sergeant Bo Bergdahl. I'm 54 years old. I worked for UPS for 28 years. I don't work for the military. I don't work for the government. I don't represent the American people. 